Hi, my name's Jeff Hutchings, and this is my guide to the multi-filter in BandLab. The multi-filter is a type of equalizer. In other words, it allows you to change the sound frequencies of your track. For this demo, I've created four tracks, a low frequency bass guitar track, a medium frequency twang guitar track, and a high frequency piano track. Then I've exported a combination of all three of those tracks to an audio track, and then imported that audio track back in to create my fourth track. And it's this fourth track that I'm going to use in this demo. To add the multi-filter to your track, tap on effects. Tap on the plus icon on the none effects icon, then tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the tone tab. Then tap on multi-filter. First up, we have the filters that filter out sound frequencies. These filters use the frequency slider and the Q slider, also known as the quality slider. Low pass. The most commonly used filter in the multi filter is a low pass filter. A low pass filter basically removes all the sound frequencies above the frequency that is set with the frequency slider. Near the bottom of the screen, to the right of the word type, the word in the list box should already say low pass. If it doesn't say low pass, tap on the list box and tap on low pass in the pop up menu. Under the words multi filter near the top of the screen is the frequency slider. This slider sets the cut off frequency. Drag in the green dot on the slider to the left so it says 800 Hz below the word frequency will set the filter to remove the sound above 800 Hz. Notice, however, that this filter does not cut off all the sound above 800 Hz, but rather progressively increases the amount of frequency volume the sound is reduced by the higher the frequency gets. For instance, if I add the graphic EQ and remove all the sound above 800 Hz on the graphic EQ, you will notice how much more sound above 800 Hz is removed by the graphic EQ. Just below the frequency slider is the Q slider. Moving the green dot on the Q slider to the right increases the bandwidth of the filter. So, reduces the amount of frequencies closest to the frequency set by the frequency slider that are removed. High pass. Next is the high pass filter. The high pass filter is basically the opposite of the low pass filter. So the high pass filter removes all the sound frequencies below the frequency set by the frequency slider. Near the bottom of the screen, to the right of the word type, tap on the list box and tap on high pass in the pop-up menu. Drag in the green dot on the frequency slider to the right so it says 4000 Hertz below the word frequency will set the filter to remove the sounds below 4000 Hz. The sound is removed progressively as it was with the low pass filter. Moving the green dot on the Q slider to the right increases the bandwidth of the filter. So, reduces the amount of frequencies closest to the frequency set by the frequency slider that are removed. Band pass. A band pass filter allows you to select a specific band of sound. So a band pass filter removes all the sound above and below the frequency set by the frequency slider. Near the bottom of the screen, to the right of the word type, Tap on the list box and tap on band pass in the pop-up menu. Drag in the green dot on the slider so it says 1500 Hz below the word frequency 
will set the filter to remove the sound above and below 1500 Hz. The sound is removed progressively as it was with the low pass and high pass filters. Moving the green dot on the cue slider to the right focuses the sounds more on the frequency set on the frequency slider. So more of the frequencies above and below the set frequency are removed. Notch. The notch filter is basically the opposite of a band pass filter. So a notch filter removes the sound frequencies at the frequency set by the frequency slider. Near the bottom of the screen to the right of the word type, tap on the list box and tap on notch in the pop-up menu. Dragging the green dot on the frequency slider so it says 1500 Hz below the word frequency will set the filter to remove the sound around 1500 Hz. The sound is removed progressively as it was with the low pass and high pass filters. Moving the green dot on the cue slider to the right focuses the sound more on the frequency set on the frequency slider, so less of the frequencies above and below the set frequency are removed. Next up we have the filters that modify the sound frequencies. These filters use the frequency slider and the gain slider. Low shelf. A low shelf filter can be used to increase or decrease the sound frequencies below the frequency set by the frequency slider. So basically it can be used as a bass boost or a bass cut filter. Near the bottom of the screen to the right of the word type, Tap on the list box and tap on low shelf in the pop-up menu. Drag in the green dot on the frequency slider so it says 400 Hz below the word frequency will set the filter to either boost or reduce all the sound below 400 Hz. Just below the cue slider is the gain slider. When the multi-filter is set to low shelf, Moving the green dot on the gain slider to the right increases the volume of the sound below the set frequency. Moving the green dot on the gain slider to the left reduces the volume of the sound below the set frequency. Now, I should mention that I say increases or decreases volume as an easy way to explain how the multi-filter works. More technically, it attenuates or amplifies the sound frequencies rather than increases the volume. But if you don't know the difference between gain and volume, then don't worry too much about the technical difference. High shelf. A high shelf filter can be used to increase or decrease the sound frequencies above the frequency that is set with the frequency slider. So can be effectively used as a treble boost or a treble cut filter. Near the bottom of the screen to the right of the word type, tap on the list box and tap on high shelf in the pop-up menu. Drag in the green dot on the slider so it says 3000 Hz below the word frequency will set the filter to either boost or reduce all the sound above 3000 Hz. Moving the green dot on the gain slider to the right increases the volume of the sound above the set frequency. Moving the green dot on the gain slider to the left reduces the volume of the sound above the set frequency. Peaking. A peaking filter can be used to increase or decrease the sound frequencies at and around the frequency set by the frequency slider. So basically can be used as a mid boost or a mid cut filter. Near the bottom of the screen to the right of the word type, 
tap on the list box and tap on Peaking in the pop-up menu. Drag in the green dot on the slider so it says 2000 Hz below the word Frequency will set the filter to either boost or reduce all the sound around 2000 Hz. Moving the green dot on the gain slider to the right increases the volume of the sound around the set frequency. Moving the green dot on the gain slider to the left reduces the volume of the sound around the set frequency. Moving the green dot on the Q slider changes the bandwidth of the filter, so increases or reduces the amount of frequencies closest to the frequency set by the frequency slider that are removed or boosted. All Pass The All Pass filter is a specialist filter, so it's beyond the scope of this particular tutorial. But for your information, the All Pass filter doesn't change the sound frequencies of a track, but is used to change the phase of the frequencies. Near the bottom of the screen, to the right of the word Type, tap on the list box and tap on All Pass in the pop-up menu. Drag in the green dot on the slider so it says 4000 Hz below the word frequency will set the phase frequency at 4000 Hz. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.